Barnet take on Gateshead in the Vanarama National League tomorrow afternoon here at the Hive. I'm joined by Dean Brennan. Dean, thank you for joining me. Before we go on to Gateshead, we're a few days removed from the game against Boreham Woods. How are your thoughts following that? Uh, what are your lessons learned from that afternoon? We can start how we started against Boreham Wood. I can tell you that now. Um, against Gateshead, Gateshead like the running behind the patterns of play are excellent. Um, very good attack-minded side. They run forward really well without the ball. Um, and they're great on the eye, to be fair. They're very well coached. So the lesson learned from Boreham Wood is that our first half performance really was just not up to the standards we set ourselves. But the sign of a good team um, is to be able to change things at half time and then change things again in the 60th minute. We had a strong bench that day. I thought Harley made a big difference when he came onto the pitch. Um, and when you've got that strength and depth, you can you can make changes. And to be fair, Laurie was outstanding as well. So we don't want our goalie having to make that many saves again. Um, so we're hoping we've set the, uh, set the reset button a little bit defensively. Um, so yeah, from our point of view, we, we want to keep to the standards we've set in sort of like October, November. And even December time. Absolutely. What challenges do you reckon Gateshead are going to bring to to your team? Yeah, good, a lot. I say good patterns. They got a centre forward who's flying for them. Um, they create a lot of chances. Um, and I remember the game we played up there. That was a great game. To be fair, I thought the first twenty minutes they were outstanding. We had to sort of change our style a little bit, and it was a humdinger of a game. It was a great two all draw, and they're they're a good side. Um, I think they're better than the place they are in the division at this moment in time. Um, I've got a lot of respect for them. A lot of respect for the manager as well. I think he's a fantastic coach. Um, but they have got frailties, just like all teams this division have. So we've got to try get get to them frailties and get to their weaknesses, and uh, hopefully we can do that tomorrow. We're obviously now into the second half of the season playing teams that we've already faced once. As a coach, as a gaffer, does that make it a little bit easier because you've already faced them once this season? It can and it can't be. You know, you just take each game on its merit. You know, some, you need in these times periods, you need a little bit of luck at times as well where players you know, can be suspended, they can be injured. Um, it's just the winter months, it's cold, it'll be windy, it's difficult. You've just got to dig deep. Uh, every ball we kick, every goal we score, every goal yeah. we concede... Um, is massive for us. It's going to be huge for us in, in a sort of like campaign, really, to sort of reach the top seven positions that we're in the division. So um, it is the business end. Um, so look, last year, I think I don't even think Grimsby were in the playoffs positions this time last year. So it just shows you, what, you know, people can come from nowhere. So we just got to keep earning the right to win football matches and keep taking them one game at a time. Absolutely. Talking about personnel, Nicky's back and is eligible after uh, serving his suspension. Any other injury news? Actually, quite good, actually, on the injury front. Uh, we've had a lot of players come back and train this week. It's, it's sort of been a full house. Uh, Jamal Loz has done little bits, which I'm so excited about. He's such an exciting player. He's had an awful time with injury since he's been with us, but he's got, he's got pace. He likes to get to the touchline. So he started to come back in with the group. Dom Revan's available. Um, but we've got to manage him. Um, and Danny's got a little bit about a flu at the minute, so which has been in the camp in the last two or three weeks. So um, we'll see how he is tomorrow, Danny Collins. Um, but all in all, it's it's look we're going to have a strong squad tomorrow. There's going to be some players disappointed in the stand, and that's what we need if we're going to uh, if we're going to continue to win football matches. Finally, I can't let you go without talking about a new contract. I got a call from upstairs yesterday afternoon saying Dean had just signed a new contract. Brilliant news. The supporters are obviously delighted. How are you feeling? Yeah, happy. Like it's it's one of them situations where, you know, there's no point in for searching for something that you just that you have already. You know, I've got a lot of things here. I've got a great relationship with our owner. Um, amazing relationship with our supporters. We've got that together, and it took a little bit of time. Um, but it was a really easy conversation. Myself and Tony. It was just simple. It was done. You know, within a couple of hours, really. I think we had a conversation Wednesday, and then uh, a couple of hours, and our Irish biscuits and our Irish tea, and then uh, we got it done pretty much the next morning. So I'm low maintenance when it comes to stuff like that. I'm happy. I love the place. Like I said yesterday, you know, some places you just fall in love with, and it's just it's just a right fit, the right time, and I think this is the right thing for me to do. So um, long may I continue, and uh, I want to thank our owner for his support, and the main people I want to thank is the players and supporters. They've been unbelievable. Um, there's a lot of special people at this football club and uh, you know, once we keep that hard work, like you say, keep that humbleness, keep working together, um, hopefully we can achieve good things. Dean, congratulations on the new contract. I wish you the best of luck for tomorrow. Cheers. Thanks,